let's start with our warm-ups today and just do a little midsection work. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders lined up. Core activated with those ribs towards your spine and up and shoulders back and down. And the crown reaching toward the ceiling. Take a moment to get that yoga perspective centered inward. Just take a moment to breathe. Letting your belly expand as those lungs fill and the diaphragm drops. Exhale, push that toxic exhalation back out. And just take a moment to get into that breathing as well as focus on your body. And inhaling, bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch your fingertips out, keep the shoulders down, hands to your chest, elbows back, heart open. Inhale out to the front and then bring your hands behind you, just clasp the fingers and press them down as you lift your head. Stretch your head back and don't forget to breathe. Feel that back bend. And then pivot at your hips, exhale over. Tucking your chin a little bit, bring your hands toward your head for that shoulder release. Bend your knees if you need to. Lift the sitting bones and give it a stretch on the back of your legs if you want. Move your chin around, release your neck. And then bending your knees. Start at the bottom of your spine, wind your way all the way back up. And again, lifting your heart, dropping your shoulders, stretching your head back. Feel that upper body back in. Take a few breaths, just relaxing. And then on an inhalation, come upright, release your arms, feel that whole body just a little more energized. As you inhale, arms reaching to the sides. Exhale to your heart, stretch to the front, and then this time as you exhale, clasp the hands the opposite way behind you. So shift the fingers over. Take a breath and again into that back bend as deeply as you like. Exhale over. Hands up, head down. Take a moment and breathe. Just release your neck. Bend your knees. Lift your ribs. Drop your sitting bones. Wind from the bottom of the spine back into that upper body back bend. Shoulders down, head back. Don't keep, don't forget to keep breathing. And feel all that stretch through your spine. Inhale upright, release your arms. Keep one down, the other one out. Turn the palm toward the ceiling and bring your arm over your shoulder. Pull the shoulder and shoulder blade down on the other hand, or reaches away. Lean no twist over to the side. We've got those ribs stretching apart. Put the foot you're leaning away from down a little bit more. Get that whole side open even further. And then inhale up, exhale that arm down. And we need to do the other lateral motion. So arm out, palm up, and above your shoulder. Again, the shoulders stay down. The fingertip reaches up and the other one stretches down. And you lean straight to the side, no twist. Feel those ribs open as you push your foot even deeper on that side you're leaning away from. Inhale back up and release. Sides a little bit more open after that lateral stretch to the spine. Bring your shoulders back and down. Arms again, shoulder level. Turn the palms up, hands above your shoulders. Clasp your elbows. Sitting bones down and face of the skull up. Really stretch that spine apart so we can Exhale and twist. Take a breath. And as you exhale, come on over. Take a few breaths there, just releasing and relaxing any tension. Keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. Feel the change in your body as you inhale your way back slowly up in the twist. And move into that upper body only for your back. And remember, gentle on the low back when it's twisted. Heart high, elbows back, shoulders down. Take a breath, coming up. Exhale around to the center and switch your arms around, balancing things out. And again, stretch that spine apart and twist to the other side. A breath in and exhale over. 
And again, deepen as much as you like, keeping the weight on both feet as evenly as you can in that twist forward position. And once again, on the inhalation, stay in the twist all the way up into that upper body for your back bend. Shoulders down, elbows back, heart high. Take a breath there, stretch it out. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center. Shoulders down, fingertips to the ceiling as you come into extended mountain. Keep those arms right by your ears, pivot at your hips, push the sitting bones back, and come into that stretch halfway down, and then drop into ragdoll. Just hang, arms going wherever they fall. Pull in a little deeper with your hands behind your legs. Get a good stretch on that back of your body. And then arms to the front, knees slightly bent, and again, Mind away from the bottom of the spine, up, shoulders circling back and down a couple of times, coming back into mountain pose. Take a moment, breathing. Bring your hands onto your lower back. So heels of the palms about the lower shoulder blades, fingertips toward your waist, toward your hips, and elbows pushing toward each other. So you get a nice expansion across the heart. And then keep your hips right above your ankles and push your head back away, come into a little back bend. Nice supported version. Elbows coming toward each other, keeping that heart open. Chest expanding. Head reaching away. And don't forget to keep moving. And breathing, stretching open. And then chin toward your chest. Inhale upright. And release. Feel a little more circulation through that whole spine. Stretch the spine apart and just gently swing side to side in that windmill, following your hands from one side to the other as you push your head toward the ceiling, sink evenly into your feet. Just feel that spine getting a little more release. And then back to the center, circle those shoulders back and down, and Angle your toes slightly out, turning your whole legs so those knees go toward the toes. Bend them right above the toes, hands above the knees. Don't press, just position your shoulders above the toes. And then we're going again into a twist. So sitting bones and crowns, stretch apart. Exhale, turn your whole body toward the side as you bring your shoulder across toward the opposite knee. So the hips go slightly back, the ribs and chest and head turn looking toward the side. The whole body is twisting, just deepen as much as you want. And then exhale, turn back to the center, stretch it long, open the spine, exhale, bring that other shoulder down and across toward the knee as you turn your whole body to the side. Stretch it out, get a good lengthening through the spine as you move. And again, exhale and turn back to the center. Tuck in your chin, round your spine, slowly wind back up, shoulders back and down as those toes come forward, back into mountain pose. Take a moment and feel like what's going on in your body as you breathe. Hands to your heart. We'll look at them as you bring them toward the ceiling. Bring the thumbs back and keep looking as you raise your heart. Nice little back bend again, this time unsupported. Exhale, hands to your heart. Pivot at your hips. Drop into ragdoll. Just hang a moment there. Slide your hands up on your shins under your knees. Halfway up, stretch. Elbows, knees, spine coming straight. And then as you exhale, bend your knees. And come to the floor for our child pose transition. Hips back on your heels, hands, palms up, or head toward the floor, and just let those shoulders relax down. Take a moment and breathe. Let's feel that whole spine getting some stretch in it. And then as you inhale, bring your hands out to the front, to the sides of the mat. Pivot up, slide your feet back, drop your hips down, pull all the way onto your belly. Turn your head to the side, hands next to your hips, palms up, and relax those shoulders down, toes slightly apart, and rest in crocodile. 
Take a breath. On an exhalation, turn your head to the other side. Let that next stretch in the middle. Take a breath. Most relaxing. And then bring your forehead to the floor. Bring your hands next to your head. Elbows in towards your waist. Palms down. And shoulders relax. Feet hip width apart. Nothing happens in the lower back. So just keep those feet on the floor. Inhale, face forward, crown towards the ceiling. Chest forward and up. And just a little pull back with those elbows in towards your waist. As you come up into that space back then, focus on that upper chest area, pushing it forward, and then the crown high toward the seal. So a nice upper body back there here. Take a breath, lengthen, let the spine do the work, remember, so you don't want pressure in those forearms or hands, nothing going on there. It's just positioning. Take a moment to breathe, get as much bend in that back as feels right for you today. And then on an exhalation, bring your forehead back down toward the floor. Take a breath, just relax. And then stretch your arms out overhead, shoulder width apart, hands, palms down on the floor, forehead on the floor. And then take the fingertips into the heel of your palm, and bring the hand back that length of your palm. So the elbows go up toward the sides of your mat. Elbows bent slightly. And the forehead's still on the floor. And we're going to do a little upper body back bend. So feet stay hip width apart. Lower back does nothing. And inhaling, turn your face to the front. Bring the crown up. Tuck that chin back toward your chest. So you're not crunching the back of your neck. And then push your chest forward and up and come a little higher. Let the spine remember do the work, not your arms or hands. You're not pressing into the floor. They're just positioning you so that that contraction on your back is in that neck shoulder area. So way high upper back back bend on this one. Gentle as much as you need to. You can keep your body closer to the floor. That's okay. Just let the spine do the work coming into the back bend as much as your body needs. Take a breath. And as you exhale, just slowly feel the bones move as you bring your forehead back down. Take a breath and relax. And again, bring the fingertips to the heel of your palm. Bring the length of the palm back further. Elbows further out toward the sides on each side. Take a moment and breathe, forehead on the floor. And again, inhaling, turn your face to the front, round toward the ceiling, chin tucks back toward the chest, and then the chest goes forward and up. So that back of the neck and the rest of the spine is in a nice back bend. And again, a little bit further down along the spine from that neck shoulder area into that upper shoulder area and heart area. Just breathe and relax as you bring the heart forward and up. Keep that crown reaching as much toward the ceiling as it wants to. Remember, the ribs stay on the floor. You can go as low toward the floor as your upper body needs, but no pressure in those arms or hands. Spine doing the work. You want to build up the strength in our spines. Take a breath. Lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, slowly pivot back down bringing your forehead back to the floor. As the forehead gets all the way down, one more time, fingertips to the heel of the palm, palms coming back, probably right about your temple area, elbows way out to the sides, off the mat, and forehead on the floor. And we're gonna do one more of these upper body back bends in this extended cobra. Inhale, face forward, crown up, Chin tucking back slightly, get that neck stretching, and then chest forward and up, crown toward the ceiling, shoulders and shoulder blades down. And remember, no pressure in those arms and hands. Just going as far as your spine wants to support, coming into that shoulder blade area for that main part of your contraction. Take a breath, feel that back bend. Only as much as you want. Remember, personal practice always what's right for your body. 
you know, when those feet are hip width apart, the body is sinking through the hips and pelvis, nothing going on in that lower back. Take one more breath, chest up and heart five. Exhale and pivot in. As your forehead gets back to the floor, just relax. And yogini choice. Choose where you want your hands. They can stay where they are. They can go out a little bit. They can go out further. They can extend as far as you like. But if you want a special point on that upper back to be in your back bend place, just see if you can position your hands so that that is your contraction point for your back bend. Start with your forehead on the floor. Put your hands where you like them. Elbows out toward the side, palms down. Inhale, face to the front, crown up, tuck that chin back, chest forward and up, crown to the ceiling, and just feel where that work is going on in your back. If you got the wrong place, just bring your forehead back to the floor, put your hands further out to go higher on the spine, look closer to your shoulders, it'll get closer to your lower back as you get toward the shoulders. And again, just feel the back bend as much as you'd like. Heart forward and crown high. Just allow your body to not press into your arms, but to let the spine do the work. Take one more breath, and as you exhale, come on back. Pull the weight forehead to the floor. Bring your hands under your shoulders. We're just going to press back into child's pose. So a nice forward bend, counteracting your back bends. Just let that happen in your body. Breathe deep, let it go. Get a good stretch and don't forget to breathe. And then again, we're gonna go back into our resting crocodile. So hands to the front, sliding forward, dropping the hips and rolling down. Head to the side, hands palms up, shoulders down. Take a moment and breathe. And as always, balance the body, exhaling, turning your head to the other side. So we're gonna come into that Sphinx Cobra again. So bring your forehead to the floor and your elbows in towards your side with the hands right outside your face, palms down on the floor. Pull the elbows down and in towards your waist. Inhale, face to the front, crown up, tuck the chin, Chest forward and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down, coming into your sphinx position, starting. We're gonna do a little twist from here. So your body's going to turn and look toward the side. So really stretch the spine apart, exhale and turn. So the hip you're turning towards is gonna to lift slightly. You're gonna move your ribs up, your shoulders slightly up, and your head facing the side. So just the upper body twist. Coming into that position, balancing your energy and your body in this sphinx twist. Take a breath, really stretch it out, maximize or minimize that twist, turning as much toward the side as you would. Exhale, turn back to the center. Stretch it out, and exhale, forehead down toward the floor. Straighten things out if you need to. And of course, we're going to twist to the other side. So once again, hands, palms down near your face, elbows in, slightly back toward your hips. And inhale, face forward, crown up, chin tucking back, stretch that back of the neck, chest forward and up, crown high. Remember the spine is doing the work, not your arms, no pressure there. Take a breath. And again, we're going to turn this time to the opposite side, turning your whole upper body. That hip will come up slightly, the ribs slightly, and the shoulder toward the ceiling as you turn and look toward the side. As much as your body wants, just move into your twist. Keep lengthening through the spine. Keep breathing. Relax those feet. No need to work into that lower back as any point. Take a breath. Lengthening, and as you exhale, turn back to the center. Again, chest forward and up, crown shoulder blades towards your waist. Exhale back down, forehead to the foot. Hands again under your shoulders, and one more nice child's pose as we get ready for our final relaxation. 
Give yourself a good stretch there in the forward bend. Keep breathing and relaxing. And inhale, sitting up on your heels. Bring your feet out to the front. And extend them all the way to the end of the mat. Feet hip width apart. Core active. Spine nice and straight, reaching toward the ceiling. Shoulders and shoulder blades down. Keep that core working for you as we go slowly onto that lower back. And safely. And then onto the lower ribs and the shoulder blades. And finally the shoulders and the body all the way to the floor. Take a breath there. Just breathe and relax. And one quick final twist. Arms, palms up at your shoulders. Sitting bones down toward the heels. Bend your knees. Bring the heels back up next to your hips. Press the back down. Lift the feet off the floor. Knees pull right above your hips. Hands, palms up or down, your choice. We're just going to roll those knees over to the side and turn your head toward that opposite arm. Get a nice little twist, just releasing and relaxing anything in that spine that you've been working in your cobra. Take a breath. Knees coming down for that lower back twist. Shoulders on the floor, middle back twist, head turning, neck area twist. Do what's right for your body only. And then bring your heels toward your hips and roll onto your back. Knees right above the hips again. Bring your feet to the floor if you need to straighten things out. We're going to twist to the other side. So again, knees coming down right at hip level, turning your head toward that arm now behind you. Arms, palms up or down. Just bring those shoulders down to the floor for that middle back twist. Let the knees come as far toward the floor as they want. You can pat any time you need to if that lower back needs some gentleness or keep your feet down for support. And of course, head turning for that neck area. Be gentle there if you've got neck issues. Always. Take a breath. Just relaxing. Maximize or minimize whatever's right for your twist today. And when you're ready to release, again, heels toward your hips, roll onto your back. Feet to the floor, straighten things out. Slide the feet hip width apart down toward the end of the mat. Bring your hands near your sides, palms up, slightly away from your hips. For that, release through your shoulders as those shoulders and shoulder blades sink into that surface beneath you. Take a deep breath. And as you exhale, let everything relax. And just allow your body to grow heavy as you exhale. Deepening into that earth connection as Mother Earth supports you. And just feel your spine releasing. Move your head side to side or let that neck release as well. Chin slightly towards your chest, back of the head on the floor, not your neck. And just let those shoulders sink, your whole body relax. Toes slightly toward each other and then just release. Allowing your body just to deepen its earthbound connection, disappearing from your awareness, relaxing completely. And as your body relaxes, just allow your awareness to release any thoughts of your body. And as it does, other thoughts will come to you. Let those thoughts just disappear as easily, having them float away like your breath without attention. And just allow yourself to release any thoughts of the past, no need to anticipate the future. Let the thoughts drift away without awareness, allowing your attention to focus only on the breath, deepening into that inner awareness of peace. And just fill your body with peace, fill your mind with peace, and take a few moments just being.
And if you can keep relaxing today even longer, take as much time as you have opportunity. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin breathing more deeply, stretching your body gently however it feels good for you as you draw energy and awareness to the moment, to the moment, through your body. And when you're ready, Give yourself a good stretch, sitting bones toward your heels, draw your heels toward your hips, and your knees up toward your head. Give yourself that appreciative final yoga hug of appreciation. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your yoga does for you and your body does for you every day. Just bring your head to the floor, keep your knees up. Hands on your knees and just give yourself a little circle through that lower back, giving it a little release today, too. And when you've had enough, bring your feet to the floor, head to the mat, and rolling to the side, and sitting back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.